Hi guys. So today we're going to be playing around with some UV resin, making some hearts here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to mix some UV resin with some UV resin nail polish. Um, so give me a second to put my gloves on here. And then I will show you what we're going to use today. Alright. So we'll be using J. Diction Formula UV Resin. The hard type. I really, really, really like this stuff. Um, I recommend it. One of the best UV resins out there. Like I said, it's one of the best UV resins out there. So what we're going to do is I have this UV resin nail polish that I got off of Amazon. Comes in different colors. There's a little window. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little window right there that indicates the color. So what we do is shake it up. Give it a couple drops into the UV resin. Just let it drop on its own. Or you can cheat until it and have it come out the bottle. Just be careful when it comes out the bottle. It's going to come out a little faster than what you would want. But this way you can get more. You can touch it to the resin, but try not to put the brush into the resin. You don't want to do that. So then what you do is take a pointer without touching the bottom of your mold. Give it a nice swirl. Any way you want. No particular way of doing it grab a baby wipe here make sure you wipe off your stick we'll grab another color and we'll do the one next so it already filled these these two with resin um, so this one's a little a little darker than the one we just used so like I said you could tilt the nail polish bottle like this Sometimes it takes forever I mean, to drip off the, the brush. I mean, you can encourage it by tapping the brush. But depending on how much you want, I mean, go wild with it. There's no right or wrong amount when it comes to the color that you want to put in. You can use multiple colors too. Um, I've done that in the past. So I'll just give it one more. One more good drop right there. All right. Now this kit comes with five different colors and this is just a plain, nope, not that one, sorry. This one is just a plain black. Um, if you look at the tops, they indicate what they are. And then once again, take your stick, just start somewhere and Swirl it around. Alright. Once you get the swirls where you want, just grab your UV light and let it cure. Alright, one of the things I forgot to mention was that I didn't fill the mold all the way to the top. I left probably about a millimeter of space. Because what you're going to do is you're going to backfill these with either white or black or whatever color you want. Um, I'm going to use black. So what I do is I grab a little mixing cup. i grab this cup right here. Grab a little mixing cup. I'm going to take your UV resin. Squirt some in there. Make sure you put the lid back on. You don't want it to dry out. 
And then what you do is you find the black. All right, so what you do is you fill your mixing cup with some UV resin and then you take the black. You're gonna put a little bit in there because you don't want it to be too uh, thick or the UV light can't penetrate the, the resin. I'll just put a couple dabs in there. And what I'll do after that is put the lid back on because you don't want it to dry out. Grab a stirrer. You want to mix it up real good. Just keep mixing it up. Once you get it all mixed up, you're going to put it off to the side and grab yourself some kind of brush. Sorry, we're having a a little bit of a thunderstorm today. I'm just gonna put some in. Just like this. I'm just gonna move it around. Just keep moving it around until you get it all all covered up. I'm gonna have to mix up more for the second heart, but it's easy enough to do. Just get it all in there. Make sure you get the edges. Push it around, just just want to make sure the entire heart is covered with the black nail polish. Well, like I said, it's black nail polish mixed with uh, UV resin. All right, and once you get it all covered, just go ahead and grab your UV light and let it go. All right, so that one's nice and cured up. But while that was curing off cam... I went and mixed up some more black for the second one. So let's cover the second one. Let's do the same thing. Just make sure you cover the whole heart or jewelry piece or whatever, whatever mold you're doing this in. It's the same, same setup. Just you know, scrape it all out. I don't want to waste any. Never want to waste any. You get every last drop. All right, just move it on around, covering the whole heart, popping any bubbles. Once you get it all covered, grab your UV light again and let the magic happen. All right, so now we're all nice and, and uh, cured up here. What I like to do is take my UV light, turn it around, and then cure these guys from the bottom. <clears throat> Give them a little bit of a cure. That way the <clears throat> underside of them gets nice and dry. So when you take them out, it's not all sticky. So we'll let that cure and uh, I'll be back. All right. Now that these guys are cured from the front and back, we'll take this and move it out of the way. So just give them a nice little tap. Make sure they're hard. They're nice and hard. So let's... Uh, Pop these bad boys out and see what they look like. They turned out pretty neat. All right, let's get this guy out. There we go. Final project. 
Probably could have used a white background on these. Probably would have popped better. Uh, but just for this tutorial, I wanted to show you how to use the black on it. Um, like I said, you can use white. Just make sure it's thin enough to where the UV light can penetrate the UV resin. Because if it doesn't, it won't cure and you'll just have a sloppy mess. So, once again, this is them. Hopefully you guys can see the shine in them. Um, so, until the next time, see ya.